It's already happening. And even here in Britain, it's happening. It's happening in the United States. It's happening in the tech industries already. And of course, it's all very well saying it's voluntary. But when you're a wage slave, voluntary doesn't mean much. If it's get this job and sign up for the chip or don't get the job, well, people will take the chip. Assalamu alaikum guys and welcome to another episode of Smile to Jannah. Smile to Jannah. <laughs> Everybody loves a good deal. From kids trading their cards and stickers, even shopkeepers trying to sell their loaf of bread for a 20p profit. And even governments selling weapons to countries that they hate just to make a quick buck. Well, you guys get the point though. In other words, we don't like being scammed. We like the benefits to outweigh the losses. Now here, they're trying to lodge a chip inside you. Now I know what the learned amongst you are thinking. This was happening in Sweden mate. Yeah, thousands of people have opted in out of choice. But no 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 no, they're coming to your doorstep now. It's time for the UK to join the ranks. So they have to cut your skin open and then jam it inside you. Is it a painless procedure? Yeah, it must be painless, yeah? No, it's painful. I've just been chipped myself. Uh, it's not a painless process. but can be tracked, hacked and of course misused. Even a dedicated biohacker has concerns. It's very easy to hack a chip implant. So my advice is don't put your life secrets on a chip implant. Now of course we expect them to sell the benefits to us first, but considering the lunacy and complete idiocy behind it, you'd expect the benefits to be massive. Allows users to open doors, swap contact details and use the photocopier. Are you serious? Is that it? For me to enter my workplace 3.75 seconds quicker, why on earth would I allow them to cut my skin open and lodge a chip inside instead of just using a card to swipe my way in? Let's be realistic, I don't aim to get there quick, I aim to get there as late as possible mate. Now here, you're trying to get me there earlier. Now which Muppet actually thinks this is a good idea? Minnesota software engineer had his finger cut open to put this tiny chip inside. There is the chip. Which emits low frequencies. He programmed the chip to open his smart lock at home. So that unlocks my door. Man manipulate his smartphone. And it turned off my ringer. Chrissy Heishman from Dallas has one too. And it's just a little glass bead like the size of a grain of rice. She uses hers instead of a key card at work. Yeah, I spoke too soon. You know what? These class A mugs would probably implant a chip in their nose just so they can get into their bedroom quicker. Or implant a chip in their armpit just so they don't have to flush the toilet using the handle. Or implant a chip under their fat flaps just so they don't have to switch the light off. You lazy, lazy buggers. Don't you see they're trying to sell you a few crappy conveniences for a very hefty price of your privacy mate? Are you that unscrewed up there mate? You know what, it's like me saying here's a device that can itch your foot but in return it may send pictures of your family to a Hungarian hermit. Let's just say here's a device that can cool down your big toe but in return it may send your bank account details to a pirate in Peru. Better benefits than these have always been given to us but it's come at a price and that price has always been our privacy. Take the phone for instance, we use it to make calls but the microphone can also be switched on by the security services whenever they want. Take the computer webcam, we use it to speak to our family in a far off location but the security services can switch on the webcam whenever they want. Or take the bank, those kind fellows look after our money but of course the security services can use it to track your finances. The benefits might get better. Bottom line is stop being lazy and stop chasing these conveniences. This will probably become obligatory very soon. They just need a few false flag terrorist attacks 
to get people scared so they can infringe on more of their privacy. Because we all know, when people are afraid, they're willing to give up more control. But the question is, who are they going to use? They've got more options now other than the Muslims. They've used us for quite a while now. Now you've also got the Russians and of course the Chinese. Even if they don't do all of that. We live in a corporatocracy anyway, which means business influences government a great deal. It's pretty much running our country anyway. You're thinking, hang on a minute, what's going on? Come on, whenever anyone's running for president or prime minister, who's funding their campaigns? Yes, it's the businesses. And if they're funding their campaigns, then of course they want the favour to be returned. Look up the term lobbying. And you have to understand, people are stupid. If it's by a big brand and there's a good convenience attached to it, people are willing to do anything. I mean even if you stick a giant camera on their head so you can spy on them, all you have to tell them is uh, you can use it uh, for security reasons uh, so the police will know if something happens to you or you can use it to share moments with your family. Yeah. Now to avoid any suspicions, they'll just put a sticker of Google on it. Hey guys, it's official. Everyone likes Google. It's even got a dopey name. Google. <laughs> it's not like Google's got deals with the security services and the governments to uh, give your information out. <laughs> uh. But anyways guys, conclusion is if you're ever given the choice, don't do it. Number two, don't be convenience obsessed people. Yeah, try do stuff yourself so you don't get sucked into this sort of nonsense. Try live without these conveniences because you know what, a time might come where we might even have to consider moving back to the villages mate. Until next time guys, Asalaamu Alaikum. Be prepared, everyone has secrets.